Today, Valley Vapors gets all 50 shades and chains you up. All right. All right, straight into the up close and personal shit and all that good stuff. So, today, whenever I say we're getting 50 shades, I mean, we're doing a chain link coil. We're going to chain some shit up. So, I'm going to be using 24 gauge. I probably have about a foot and a half. And the way you want to do a chain link coil is you're going to do this like a twisted. So, here, just get the ends a little twisted, twisted. You get your drill. Hi, this is my drill. How are you doing? What you're going to do is, of course, twist. So, the biggest part of a chain link coil is you want to make sure that you pay attention to which direction you twist. So, whichever way you twist first, which in this case, I'll be twisting counterclockwise. Next, I will want to twist clockwise. So, twist it. And you're going to want to make sure that you get a nice, tight twist. It's going to be very, very important for chain linking aspect of this. And again, you want to twist until it snaps. There you go. So the next part of this is to have your twisted wire. You're going to fold it in half on itself. Now I like to keep this little loop here where I put the screwdriver and I put this wire through it just a little bit. That's going to help it hold tight into the drill. So now what you want to do is get any of that extra wire that you had out of the drill put these ends into the bit and tighten it up. Okay, and this is where what you want to do, whatever setting you had it on, in my case counterclockwise, switch it right now. Then you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to want to do this at a lower speed and you're going to want to watch the coils. So you're going to twist them the opposite direction and as you're watching this as you're paying attention to it you're gonna see it start to open up the twists as quick as that Now, there's a certain point where you don't want to do this anymore once you get everything in about an even line about right there I can see that everything looks about even take this off your screwdriver and that is your chain link. I'll post a picture up of it so you can see it in good detail. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the dark horse and let's build on it. Oh, by the way, here's the picture. All right, got my dark horse here on the ohm reader. Got my coil. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is start to wrap it. I'm gonna be using what looks to be about a one, 1.4 millimeter. So, and I'm not sure how many wraps I'm gonna do. Now just a heads up, when you're twisting this, it's very, very stiff. So, it will be a pain in the ass. I'm gonna go five wraps. Yeah, that, that, that gets you pretty good. So five wraps, and here we are. Okay. So, what I should have done earlier, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the post here on the dark horse. And the reason I'm using the dark horse is just because it's got the, the 2.5 or 2.7 millimeter post holes. That's, that's crazy. So, as you can see, going to one in here, and I may should have done four wraps. But, I'll make it work. Like I said, 50 shades, make it fit. Okay, I've got this thing in there, I think about as far as it's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the post. 
I had to take it off the ohm reader so I could wedge it around and all that good stuff. So I have that in there. I'll put it back on the ohms reader so I can adjust that coil, move it around a little bit. So, and the dark horse, about my only complaint is the fact that yes, it has ginormous post holes, but it also has an issue of hitting the walls of the cap. Let's see what this bad boy's omen at. 0.18. That's where we're at on this thing. 0.18. Okay. So, let me go ahead and throw this on my IPV. Get my troll face off of there. Stop looking at me, troll. Yeah. Now, not going to do like I did in the video that I promised everybody and I never delivered. I'm going to make sure that I turn this thing down. I'm going to do it at 50 watts. So, let's get pinching. Looks like I'm getting a short in there. Let me squeeze, squeeze. And I'm going to pull a bit, which is the last thing that I want to do on the star course, but I see where the issue is. It's down here on the bottom. Just need to squeeze all that together real good. Getting there. I'm starting to look a lot better. Squeeze from the top. Even around. Now ah, we're starting to get there. I don't think they're loose yet. Yes, they were. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down a little more. Quick squeeze. Some heat. Just about where we want it to be. I want to get these nice and tightly compressed in. Looking pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and crank her up to 100 watts. See how she does. Oh, yeah. That looks good. All right. Wicking her up. So I did have to do a little moving around just um, so the top cap of the dark horse wouldn't push that coil around and hit the coil. But got her all fixed now. Just going to be using Japanese cotton. Get my flathead. A nice bed of wicking in there. Get it very pretty. Okay. So, as usual, I'm using Pandemic. I still can't get off of the stuff. Probably gone through, I don't know, 600 mils, 650 in the past couple weeks here. So, just as usual, you want to make sure that you saturate everything. Let's see. I'm at a hundred. Yeah, that thing's going good. Some more juice on her. All right, so got it here. IPV, 100 watts. I vaped it a little bit, find exactly where I wanted it. And I think 100 watts is going to be running pretty good at that 4.58 volts. Check it out. That thing goes. I mean, I'm, it goes. I'm dripping through the chuff simply because it does make some contact with the top cap whenever you're pushing it down and pulling it up. So I just want to avoid that as much as I can. So I'm just dripping through. So, this thing vapes really, really well. That's the chain link coil. We just chained you up with that tutorial. Now in the video, another section. Check it out! Alright everybody, next section. This is something that I haven't done before in the videos, but something that I may be doing more in the future. This is Daniel. This is my buddy Daniel. 
Short guy, tiny guy, it's fine. He's grown to learn that he's just that short. But um, he's actually going to be helping me from time to time in these videos. I don't want to be the only guy you see. So that's why in the vape review review, you're going to have a little bit of me, you're going to have a little bit of him. So, speaking of the vape review review, the new channel is closer and closer to launch every day. Working on it pretty hard. Um, he's going to be helping me out with those. He's going to be in them. Going to, you know, get him used to it. I just got to set all the camera stuff lower. <laughs> so, um, without giving too much away, man, what is it that you're excited about for the vape review review? The fact that you guys can get all the videos that you're watching normally takes one to two hours we can you know minimum down to five minutes and you can get everything you need in that little bit of time that it it's his first time doing this <laughs> so I like to throw him off um, but yeah um, that's just a little tidbit on what we're gonna be doing is the videos that you would normally watch that may take some videos are gonna be an hour and a half some are gonna be ten minutes some of stuff like that so all of that time that you spend, you don't have to spend all that time anymore. It's going to take about five minutes. Now, that's kind of giving away a little bit more than I wanted to give away, but that's fine. You guys deserve it. We love you. It's cool if you watch the videos and all that good shit. Um, but yeah, he's going to be helping me out with the vape review review. He's going to be on camera some. He's going to be helping me out um, in the study and, and research that we need to do for the videos twice a week. And if he doesn't show up for one of them, that's probably why you see me. And he's going to be a little bit shorter because I'm going to hit him so hard on the top of the head, it's going to break his ankles. But that's fine. It's not hard. I just kind of have to step down to hit him on the top of the head. But um, so, yeah, on the chain link coil, this thing's still running good. I actually had to turn it down a little bit. I turned it to 65, which is not me. That's about 100 watts lower than I like to go. But she's still going really, really good flavor. That's the thing. Twisted coils are known for... Flavor. There you go, flavor. A lot of flavor. Um, and this is a twisted coil twisted back on itself in the opposite way. The things that you need to look for on the chain link is if you go too far when you twist the opposite way, it can snap, it can break. You can't really go back on it if you've gone too far. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But in terms of coils, I do want to be doing more tutorials for you guys. Um, I like hearing what you guys have to say in the comments or on Facebook, anywhere. Send me a message. I don't care. Make a video response. That'd be cool, too. Um, let me know what coils you'd like to see next. Do you have any coils that you'd like to see a tutorial on? I'd like to see a clapper. That one's going to be a bitch. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I have been getting better at Clapton's. I may do one of those here in the next month or so. Um, I don't want to do too many types of videos at the same time. Maybe a Clapton, maybe next. I've already done parallels. I think I skipped all the simple ones. But hell, either way, I know outside of coils, um, we're going to be getting a lot of new stuff here at the beginning of the week. Some shipments were delayed, which is sucky, but hell, it happens. Um, I'm really excited about the Eric that we're going to be getting in. The Derringer, stuff like that, going to be really cool. We're going to be getting a starting kit into mech mods, which is going to be really cool. It's going to come with the mech the RDA. Um, we're thinking about throwing a battery, a charger, and a 30 mil in there with a free build, of course, whenever you buy a full setup. Stuff like that, going to be really, really cool. Very affordable at that, because um, we all know we've spent a lot of money into vaping, if you're really into it. How much money do you think you've spent? I want to say I spent about... 1500 that's probably fair but either way um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video good job just throw shit around what'd you throw what'd you throw his case he threw his case threw, blasphemy on you do my case blast son of a bitch I'm just gonna end it there all right you know I, how I gotta end these videos we gotta do it the same way every time so from all of us here at Valley Vapors keep, keep calm, calm and vape on, on.